Yeah. Play it, well, that's right me. Now, I want to bring somebody on. He's a, he's a prodigal child of Cleveland. Okay. He's made his way out to California, been out there, you know. Three moves. Three mo- 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 Hold on, been in numerous movies. No, major motion, major pictures. motion pictures that's recently been out. He's been in Touchback. He's been in Laughing to the Bank. Working, working with some of the funniest comedians out there, which are his peers. We are glad to have him on board tonight. My man's in there. He's also a prolific writer. My man in there, Steve Turner. Uh, I'm going to tell you right off top. Man, I felt like a fat lady sitting in the church seat when I sat in this moment. <laughs> This thing sit me all the way down. <laughs> okay. Happy to be here. Uh, thank you, man. I'm glad you are here. I really am. And, and I'm, one thing right off the bat, dealing with Steve, when you're in this president, you got to get ready to get ranked on. Because I don't care if you're President Obama, he's going to rank on you, you know. He's going to get you, you know. He got at my man, Curry K. Curry K. Earlier this morning, Curry K. had on a red hoodie. He said, man, you going to keep moving around? You going to catch a yeast infection. <laughs> you seen how tight the pants were. There, there was, um, what's them pants the basketball players wear? The, uh, the, the that spandex. What they call it? Velcro? The... Tight, no, tight. Huh? Vel- he was velveting them damn things right off. He almost caused a velvet fire next door, man. I was like, Corey, vel- take them off fire, huh? immediately. <laughs> What's up, Steve? What's going on, man? Hey, man, I'm glad you're here. Glad to- now, now, Steve, Steve is not only a comedian, he's a writer. You know, Steve, Steve has got, Steve hit me up. Yo, T, let's find some people. We want to get them on Divorce Court. We want to get them on all kind of shows. So Steve got my man Corey Kane on Divorce Court. <laughs> and I just seen the clip today. Just- <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, Hilarious. Corey Kane, Kane. Hilarious. Now tell me, man, I mean, where you get your inspiration from? Writing, acting, you know, comedic sense. Okay, I get my inspiration in things that happen in life, and, and, and real quick before I even uh, get into it, I just wanted to give a shout out to the model who came up here, man, because I was uh, uh, talking with him, I was chopping love with him, he said, you know, we were talking about things, he said, you know, I'm the first uh, model from Cleveland that's deaf, that's hard of hearing. I said, well, yeah, you know, and, and we, we I let him know about me, you know, because uh, six years ago I was out in Hollywood and I had a motorcycle accident as a truck hit my motorcycle going 50 miles an hour. Crashed my bike, destroyed it, you know, crushed the helmet. It, it had bleeding on the brain. Uh, you know, the, the bike was destroyed. They said, dang, I, I he'll never be able to remember nothing. and never be able to talk fast again. So I told him about that. He, shit, I got one lung. Okay. <laughs> I, <laughs> hey, hell, I'm going to beat that. How you going to beat that? <laughs> I, well, I said, I was like, well, well, I had sex with fat ladies. Hold on. That, that only... That only proves that Cleveland are a resilient bunch. You know, Clevelanders are a resilient bunch. I mean, half there, we went through a lot of things, didn't we? We still here, baby. They can't kill us, baby. You can't kill us. You can't kill you. But how is you going to say any the man got one lung on the track team knocking bitches in the back of the club? He win. I looked at that. I say, well, well I, we going to have to raise an orphan for him because... I mean, I couldn't believe that. I mean, right. oh, my Jesus Christ. And I'm a Muslim, but all I know is this, man. He started telling me about his medical shit. I got stabbed right around the street. Huh? Now, 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 Steve, Where that now, come from? Now, now, when you got all healed up, did you have that same determination to want to prove people wrong? I had that same determination. Yeah, I did, man. I had that same determination.